But tell me, ma, when I go home, the boys won't leave the girls alone. Pull my hair in the store, my comb. That's all right till I get home. She is handsome, she is pretty. She is the belle of Belfast City. She is a court in the one, two, three. Please come and tell me, who is she? We get a lot of European travellers to Ireland, and, and people in Europe are, are uh, they speak many different languages, and it doesn't really happen that much in, in Ireland. There was a, there was a, there was a, a, a Swedish tourist came to Ireland one time. He was lost, and he was looking for directions. He saw two lads, and they were standing at a bus stop. So we went over to them. Murphy and O'Brien were their names. And he said, he said, uh, parlez-vous français? And Murphy looked at her, Brian, and said, what did he say? He said, I don't know. And the Swedish tourist said, he says, uh, sprechen Sie Deutsch? Deutsch? The two boys, uh, and, uh, he says, uh, Palara Italiano. Italiano? Italiano? Blank stare from the two boys. He said, uh, 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 Espanol. Habla Espanol? Nothing. So he went away frustrated. And O'Brien looked at Murphy and he said, we should learn a foreign language. And Murphy says, why? That man knew four, and it did him no good. <laughs> Ship it sails in half an hour to cross the broad Atlantic. My friends are standing on the quay in grief and sorrow frantic. Just about to sail away on a good ship down O'Leary The anchors weigh the gangways up, I'm leaving Tipperary Goodbye Mick, goodbye Pat, goodbye Kate and Mary The anchors weigh the gangways up, I'm leaving Tipperary Now the steam is rising up, I have no more to say I'm bound for New York City, 3,000 miles away I took my mother to lunch one time and on the way home from lunch She said, Harry, can we stop into the graveyard? I said, of course we can, ma'am. Who's dead? Oh, she said, they're all dead. <laughs> it makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Dance with your daddy. dance floor beneath the bright lights you'll be that young girl and I'll hold you tight dance with your daddy tonight Murphy and O'Brien were over in County Mayo on the west coast of Ireland in a, they were in a little uh, sweet shop a candy shop and they came outside and O'Brien said to Murphy I stole two bars of chocolate I'm a great thief and Murphy says, that's, that's ridiculous. There's nothing. He said, I could, we could go back in the shop. I could steal two bars in front of the shopkeeper and get away with it. So they went back in. And, oh, and Murphy said to the shopkeeper, he said, uh, do you want to see a magic trick? The shopkeeper said, I do. He said, give me two bars of chocolate. And the shopkeeper gave Murphy two bars of chocolate. So he opened them up and he ate them. And the shopkeeper said, where's the magic in that? And Murphy said, Look in O'Brien's pocket. <laughs> Last time you were here, um, you told a joke that I remember, which was hilarious. I'm not quite sure if you've actually already told it this cruise. No. Do you remember what it is? No. You said, you know, mates tried to get into Australia of yours and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and, and they were stopped at the border and they said, excuse me, uh, you, do you have a criminal record? And their response was, I didn't know you still needed one. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious, Harry. Well, Australian people don't like it. You're the only one that knows. Like like <laughs> That's true. And there's 26 of us on board. There's 26. There's 26. I don't know how many Irish there are. I think three. I, I, think, I don't know. Have you run into any Irish people no, on I, board? No, I asked on my stage show anybody here from Ireland with no silence. <laughs> <laughs> I thought all the Boston people would be like, me, I am. <laughs> Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Harry O'Donoghue. Thank you.
Yes, Harry O'Donoghue, you ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for him, folks. Oh, jeez. Dingo. Sorry, Harry. What are you doing? I was on my way to the white hot party and I got stuck here. Oh, and by myself. One, two, three, four, five. See? What would you do with the cow with the clove or what would I do with the fill it again? <laughs> okay, <there's laughs> oh, Lord, I feel how this is going to go. So, one, two, funny. three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, so one. What's it? Whoa, look at that. What would you do if the kangaroo ate the, <laughs> the wallaby? <laughs> 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 <laughs>